Hello girls, welcome to year 8. Uh, I noticed that all the local children were back at school last week looking spick and span in their bright blue and navy uniforms and by Tuesday lunchtime I'd received a telephone call from a mum in Horsham, Sussex, called Karen. Her daughter had been given a consent form and leaflet about the Year 8 Cervix HPV vaccination programme and was being asked to get it signed and returned by Friday. Now fortunately Karen had been researching it on the internet and she'd found me speaking on a YouTube video about it. This dated back to September two years ago when I was first alerted to these new vaccines and had a letter published in the newspaper. Now Karen and I took the time to have a really long chat and she told me that the current NHS leaflet just casually says that the side effects are quite mild. Mm. All quite mild? Quite mild? Really? Well, one of the girls in my hometown, in Rygate, Surrey, is still very ill indeed with chronic fatigue syndrome after her three cervix jabs in 2008 to 9 and she has spent months in a critical care unit in a specialist London hospital. It's going to take years for her to get well again and by then she will have missed out on the rest of her schooling. Several other girls have posted comments onto the NHS Choices website about their experiences and one of them, 19 years old, is disabled now with rheumatoid arthritis after her jabs. One of the mums writing on that site actually stated that this injection has ruined my daughter's life. You can see for yourself. There are at least 10 girls whose files are sitting on a lawyer's desk with a collective case pending against the manufacturers, GSK. In 2009 I was contacted by a family whose 18 year old daughter had actually crashed her car straight after her one and only cervix jab. She's lucky to be alive after passing out at the wheel on her way home from the GP's surgery. It's lucky that the car didn't kill anyone as it turned a double somersault. The crash was right outside the gates of a primary school not long after home time and her car was a write-off 